IBEH students, we are going to be talking about the personal space tool. And the book we're reading is called Kinder Gators, Hands Off Harry by Rosemary Wells. Guess what happened at school today? Tell us, Lola. Harry ran all the way down the hall and into school backwards. He even said good morning backwards. He knocked Babette, Tina, and Benjamin out of friendly circle and onto the floor. Harry laughed, but no one else did. Miss Harmony said it was not a friendly thing to do to friendly circle. She gave Harry a time out in the thinking chair. Harry, you need to think about respecting other people's personal space, said Mrs. Harmony. But Harry did not do too much thinking. Babette told Miss Harmony, Harry is disrespecting the thinking chair. Miss Harmony redirected Babette to the bead corner. Because whose job is it to worry about Harry? Just the teacher, right? You would think the thinking chair would make Harry think about what he did wrong. At snowflake, make a snowflake time, he sneaked out of his chair. Then he poked Miracle in the ribs. Her glue spilled onto her shoes and ruined her snowflake. Miracle melted down. It was an accident, said Harry. Everyone knew that wasn't the truth. Harry got another timeout. Miss Harmony rang her listen up bell. What do we use our hands for, she asked. Shake a hand, said Nigel. Hold a hand, answered Babette. Lend a hand, shouted Miguel. Do you think Harry thought about shaking hands or holding or lending a hand? No way. While Miss Harmony was not looking, Harry scooted over to Benjamin's busy spot. Harry put both hands on Benjamin's shoulders and shouted, Surprise! Benjamin's poster paint spilled all over his new shirt and pants. Miss Harmony had to wash Benjamin's clothes. Then she got out Benjamin's cubby outfit. Benjamin's cubby outfit didn't fit anymore. I bet you think Miss Harmony got mad, but no. She rang her listen up bell and called for friendly circle. Everyone got a turn to speak. We don't like to be pushed, said Tina, or poked, said Babette. Hands off, Harry, said Raoul. My favorite shirt is ruined forever, said Benjamin. That snowflake was a present from my mama, said Miracle. And now my shoes are stuck to my socks and my socks are stuck to my feet. What should we say to our classmates, Harry? Asked Miss Harmony. Sorry, said Harry. He doesn't mean it, said Babette. He's not using his I'm sorry face or voice. Harry, said Mrs. Harmony, when you use your I'm angry voice to say I'm sorry, no one believes you. Miss Harmony gave Harry 20 jumping jacks in the corner. You have ants in your pants, said Harry, said Babette. Miss Harmony redirected Babette to the dress-up corner, but the ant stayed right in Harry's pants. That's just a phrase meaning that he was wiggly. During yoga, Harry tackled Nigel. Nigel's glasses snapped in two. Oh no. Friendly Circle was called into an emergency session. Harry, you invaded my personal space, said Nigel. Friendly Circle voted that Harry needed to learn where his space ended and where everyone else's began. Just then, Babette had a brilliant idea. She ran to the gymnas gymnasium. Babette came back with a bumper tube from the bouncing set. It was perfect way for Harry to learn about personal space because he couldn't reach anybody. At snack time, Harry couldn't grab anyone else's juice. He couldn't join hands at sing-along. Harry had a lot of time to think about personal space. And guess what? At presentation time, Harry asked Miss Harmony to let him do his show and tell. What is your show and tell presentation, Harry? Asked Miss Harmony. I want to show everybody that my space ends here, said Harry. I want to tell everyone I'm sorry. 
Harry used his real, I'm sorry, voice. I think he means it, said Miracle. Who's going to be the playground monitor today? Asked Miss Harmony. Please me, said Harry, asked Miss Harmony. Everybody said, no way, not Harry. But Miss Harmony said, let's give Harry a chance. And you know what? Harry didn't touch anyone until Jasmine fell off the walkathon bars. Jasmine howled and yelled so loud you could hear her all the way downtown and all the way uptown. But Harry was a good playground monitor. He got out the first aid kit. He cleaned Jasmine's knees with the sterile wipe and put on two purple glitter band-aids. He even gave her a tissue to wipe her tears. Harry, you used your hands to help, not hurt, said Miss Harmony. And she said, I'm proud of you. Everyone got an oatmeal raisin cookie and guess what happened to them? Just before you see you later alligator time, Miss Harmony gave Harry the good behavior star. And that's what happened at school today. And that's the end. And it talks a little bit about ways that we can be caring and helpful with our classmates and give them their personal space. You might have heard of it like a bubble. We have our own personal space bubble. So I'm sure you'll talk about it in class. All right. Thanks for listening.